Hi. So for this part of the question then, we're told then that if x equals 1, can we use this expression to work out the square root of 3? So in order to say if it's going to be valid, if we let x equal 1, you should be familiar with the validity of the binomial expansion. Just remind you that we've expressed the root of 4 minus x in the earlier part of the question as 2 times all of the bracket here, 1 minus x over 4, all to the power of half. Now, when you've got a non-integer power, as we have here, the binomial expansion is only valid for values in the x term, for the x term, that lie between minus 1 and 1. So using that idea that the expansion is valid, if that x term, minus x over 4, lies between minus 1 and 1. So in order to find out what x would have to be in a case like this, I'll take you slowly through this bit. I'd multiply each of these three values by 4, first of all. And I would therefore have negative 4 is less than minus x is less than 4. And then I'd multiply through by minus 1. And remember, when you multiply through by minus 1, the inequalities reverse. So we now have 4 is greater than x is greater than minus 4. And this doesn't look very good written that way round. It's best to completely reverse this round. And you'll end up with minus 4 is less than x, which is less than 4. And another way of writing this is to say the modulus of x is less than 4. OK? Now, the point is, if x is 1, clearly that's in this interval here. So what we've got then is, yes, it is valid. OK, when x equals 1, it's valid. OK, just put it's valid. We can work out the square root of 3, OK? And just out of interest, if you were to take the square root of 3 on your calculator, you get 1.7320 and so on. But when you put x equals 1 into here now, you can see that you end up with a value very close to 1.7320. All right? So uh, you can see it does work.